So I get this question a lot. How do I strip paint off my figures? Now the normal and common answer I give them is use Simple Green or some other product that you can soak the model in and let the paint strip after a few days. Now I've always tried to find a faster way to strip paint off of the model. And just recently at Gen Con at the Badger Tour that uh, Ken was giving Ichiban studio painting, that he picked up with this really cool product and he was explaining well what it does and I was like wait 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 a minute this thing can strip paint off of miniatures right and he says yeah of course why not apparently they had this product for a while now and there's other products out there you know from other companies so here I'm here to talk about Badger Mini Sandblaster now this is a airbrush type of equipment type of thing so you have to hook up to a compressor but it's really cool it just basically sandblasts the paint off your models now I was really excited to come home and um, try this and see if it actually works so I could actually show you guys a really good and better way to strip paint off your model whether or not it's good or better way I don't know but anyways you got to check this out okay what we have here is the gun uh, the air gun It's not an actual airbrush with the needle and, and, and everything. As you can tell here I'll screw the uh, thing that holds the, the nozzle together and it's just a metal piece of nozzle with a you know, big hole basically. Alright and we'll just screw it back on, tighten it back again. It looks like a single action airbrush, one of those cheap ones. Now when it comes it comes with the big jar here that you screw on, this is where it holds aluminum oxide or if you want baking soda, you could use baking soda for this. Here's the aluminum oxide abrasive. Uh, what it is is just basically sand. Uh, it's a sand, it's sandy substance. I don't know if you can use actual sand for this, place playground sand, but you can try it, I guess. It won't harm this brush. Okay, we'll just fill it up a little bit. You should fill it up to about half so that the uh, actual uh, funnel inside could uh, get to the uh, the sand. I'm also spraying it on the top of a um, Isle of Blood um, box so that I can capture the stuff that's shooting out of this brush because you could actually pour it back in the bottle and re reuse it later. It also um, doesn't come with a quick disconnect just to let you know right away. I just put that on here so I could uh, uh, clip on the air hose really quick. And what we'll do is we'll use an ogre here. This is my test ogre uh, model that I used to you know test things out in paint. This has no clear coat on it, no clear coat protection. So look at that, it's just blowing the paint right off the model. And this is this has been sitting here for about, I don't know, last time I tested the paint on it was about three or four weeks ago. So the paint is absolutely dry. You can tell it just blows it right down to the plastic. The longer you hold on to it, the more you know you get off of the uh, surface of the model. Now does it actually scratch the plastic? If you hold it long enough, I noticed that it actually does give it some nicks and stuff. So you can actually probably do some weathering, like realistic weathering on, on a model. Now here, this is a missile pod. Now this has been coated about five or six times with either gloss or matte, depends. But uh, you know, uh, here's what it'll do against a, a model piece with uh, clear coat protection on it. It blows right through it. it. You have to keep it longer in a certain area in order to get the paint and the clear coat uh, protection off of it, but it goes right through. So as you can see in the background, it's capturing all the aluminum oxide that I'm shooting out of the brush here that I could just use later on. As you can tell here, here's all the leftover stuff that's captured by the box. I'll just, you know, just carefully pour it back into the jar and there you go, you have it. And that's it guys, the Badger Mini Sandblaster. This is a really cool product. There's probably going to be other uses for it, but let's go over some really quick things. First of all, you need a mask. This thing gets all over over the place. The aluminum oxide will get all of your desks, everything. Shoot in a box, you can actually reuse it. You know, put it back in the bottle and reuse it as well. Now, if you run out of this aluminum oxide stuff, the other, I guess, uh, thing that you can replace it and use it as is baking um, soda. This is which can can recommend it as well, so you don't have to go out and spend the money on another bottle of aluminum oxide uh, kind of stuff. So remember safety, you don't want to breathe this stuff in, you also want to breathe in baking powder. Also you do not want to shoot it through you know, a regular airbrush. I know some of you might think, oh maybe I'll just use my airbrush, take out the needle and shoot it through. No, the sand will you know, definitely dent and scratch the inside of the airbrush, so do not even try that. 
So that's it guys, the link to this product is in the video description below. And remember, like if you like, sub if you haven't, share where you can, and favorite if you love me. I'll talk to you guys later.